this and then I thought, well, I'm just going to give some information about some experiences that I had. Uh, we're with the public school, so some of my stuff's going to be slanted from um, if you have an, if you're, you have to have an approved vendor. Some of you that are with a private school or your 501c3, you may have a little bit more uh, leeway as far as what you order. You may have your own bank account, credit card, and be able to just order from Amazon or wherever. But there's a there's a bunch of really fantastic places to order stuff from. Um, I'm gonna this is this is the list. It's been updated. And it's it's been Dr. Mark said it's already been uploaded to the uh, website today. But uh, I'm not gonna go through all this individually one by one and just like cause you to fall asleep. But um, for solar panels, um, there's a, there's a number of places you can order from. Some places you can order order, order so, certain solar panels from, like Civic Solar, if you want Panasonic or Sanyo or something like that. Wholesale Solar is a great source for solar panels, power trackers, and batteries. It's a one-stop shop. They are they have fantastic customer service. I called and talked to their uh, their sales representative. He was out of New Mexico. And when I told him what we were doing, he really worked with us. And when he knows you're on a budget, um, their sales representatives will work to find you. Like we were going to buy some some cheaper panels one year, and uh, their sales force says, "Well, hey, we can get you these USA-made panels for the same price as the uh, as as the ones you're going to order from China." And just through him doing that, that helped us as far as like the production and how well those panels work. Um, so you can look at that um, speedometers. I will tell you this. One of the issues that we had was trying to figure out how do we watch our speed, and with this being a cross-country race, you're definitely going to want to make sure you don't fall below 15 miles an hour. We have found that uh, a GPS speedometer is the easiest thing to install. You don't have to worry about mounting something to your wheel, having it track with a magnet. Um, you can install that, put the antenna on top of the car. It is super accurate, and they're, they're not expensive. They range anywhere from $75 to $350. The ones that are $75 or cheaper, um, Speed Hut is one that uh, that you can go to if you don't want to use eBay, but eBay has a ton on there. Um, just make sure that you're using a uh, a U.S. based supplier that's already imported that and spent the time to get it to the United States. Um, let's see here: uh, Motors, Cloud Electric, Electric Motorsports, EV Drives, Thunderstruck Motors, and then if you're if you want to do an advanced uh, Mitsuba Motors, um, Dr. Drago. You have experience with Mitsuba, and so uh, Liberty Christian, if you have any information about ordering a hub motor, you can probably talk to him and he can tell you how easy it is, right? Uh -huh. uh, motor controllers and electric motorsports, one of the things that I would suggest is when you're, is when you're going to buy your motor and you're going to buy your motor controller, do a little research and make sure that that motor and that controller are compatible. Uh, some aren't good setups and some are, but just do the research. Um, and here's the other thing, just because this is on the list, this is not necessarily the only place you can buy stuff. Go out there and look and research it. I would say um, it's good to go look and research that strictly from a budgetary standpoint because you may find somebody that's selling it cheaper somewhere else or you might find a better source. And if you do find that, I bet you if you emailed it to Dr. Marks, he would put it on the list. And that way we would all, we'd all be, able, be able to benefit from it. Uh, custom sprockets, I will tell you this, this year, I was kind of sad because PMP Sprockets out of Wiley, uh, they're closing their doors. It's a family-owned business, nothing. They just decided to close up, so uh, they have some inventory left, but they don't have enough to make the large custom sprockets anymore. I did find this um, Rocket uh, Rocket Sprockets. They're out of Tennessee. Fantastic company. Um, we talked to them on the phone, and they found out we were a school, and they just took 25% right off the top. And this is for a custom sprocket where you give them your hole pattern and the distances and the cutout, and they will cut it and they'll lighten it for no extra charge. Um, uh, but uh, they're really good. Uh, Rebel Gears is another one out of Tennessee, and then Super Sprockets is, is one I think out of Washington. Uh, but if you need a custom sprocket, which if it's your first year, you may want to look into why teams run custom sprockets. Uh, switches and disconnects, uh, I think. What's really important is the Albright International, uh, the ED250s and the uh, ED250Bs. Um, my personal opinion is do the push button on and off. These are the best uh, disconnects to use. And then switches, you can look through there. You can get stuff from all over the place. A company that we started using this year was Kimball Midwest. They don't have prices listed, but they have a lot of hard to get uh, things. So like if you're needing 
special hardware. They have that. You can contact the sales representative and they'll work with you on price. So you can actually negotiate with these guys. Um, fuses, there's a lot of there's a lot of places you can go look at that. You can buy them straight off of eBay or any of these other places. But MasterCard, Mauser Electronics. I know that uh, uh, Mansfield, y'all have a relationship with them. Um, then wiring, Cloud Electric, Electric Motorsports, and, and EV drives, they're all going to have the proper size wiring. If you have trouble finding it, you can actually go to your local welding supply and they have a welding cable. Make sure you size the right size. Welding cable is what I would recommend. I wouldn't use battery cables. They're able to, ha to handle a much higher amperage. Uh, you always want your wire to be amped, to be rated higher than what your fuse, fuse is. Uh, Seatbelt Summit Racing. Um, Motivational tubing, you'll see this on here in a couple of places. Um, it's a great place to buy your brakes, brake lines. Uh, they're a junior dragster supplier, and so their brakes, they, they have some that are uh, MCPs. Uh, they're for mini sprint cars. If you don't know what a sprint car is, they go quite faster on a track and they have to be able to stop. So they're a compact brake, and they're also adjustable, so you can adjust your brakes so they don't rub on your, on your disc. Um, and then there's a ch chassis spot uh, shop. Suspension, um, we've purchased our double A arm suspension from, or double wishbone suspension off of eBay. Uh, we tried to go to Honda, but the cost of buying it brand new was just really exorbitant. Uh, but we've been able to find used uh, ATV parts off of eBay, pretty cheap. Uh, rear swing arms, if you're gonna go that way off of a motorcycle, you can get a complete setup pretty cheap. Um, shocks. Um, you're going to see that, I, that AliExpress is up here. Has anybody ever used that? You know, that's where you can buy directly from, from China. Um, I'll talk about that in a minute. You can actually buy a complete double A-arm setup that's got a lot of stuff in it for a reasonable price. There's just a lot of delays in getting it. Uh, wheels, um, I'll say this. I found this website called Treatland TV. Um, it's the second one on there. There, there are a couple of brothers out of California that sell uh, moped parts. So moped wheels we found work really well. The only thing is when you email them, just be patient because those guys go surfing a lot. I think that they just have this <laughs> business to support their surf habit. And when you talk to them on the phone, they have that uh, that surfer uh, draw. But they have really good prices and they, have and they have a lot of parts. And you can buy a lot of moped tires to them and they're very reasonable. Uh, you, you just may have a delay in getting communication back. Uh, this is what we found that was really good. There's this place called Adapter Kings. Shop at adapter, adapterkings.com. If you're needing to get a automotive wheel to mount to an a, uh, ATV hub or four-wheeler hub, they make adapters for any bolt pattern. If you call them up, they will make a special one for you. So you, you can go from automotive to four-wheeler to golf cart to whatever size. This will uh, not only help you mount that, but if you're needing to get the proper width for your car, you know, you can get those anywhere from an inch up to up to an inch and five eighths. Um, and that'll allow you to meet your bolt pattern if you go that route. Um, metal construction, uh, online metals, we don't buy from them, but what's great is you can go on there, you can do your research on what kind of metal you're gonna use. The uh, online metals gives you all the data specs on uh, 4130 chrome molly, uh, hot roll, cold roll, uh, mild steel, and you can look at its strength and then you can look at its weight per foot, okay? Because what you'll find out is weight is kind of important in solar car racing. Um, but you can use online metals to do your research. But what I would recommend, go local if possible. If you can, if you can establish a local rapport with the company, it's going to make it easier for ordering. You'll have a little bit of negotiating ability as far as getting parts. Um, these are some of the other ones. Uh, in this area, North Texas, QMF Steel, they can get you hard to reach stuff. A lot of the steel companies in the area call them for specialty materials. So we just deal directly with them. Uh, there's Garland Steel and then Wicks Aircraft. Uh, brake lights and turn signals, O'Reilly's Granger, E-Retailer, there's, there's going to be other places. Uh, nuts and Bolts, BoltDepot.com, um, our local supplier, he said, he says, I think I can beat them. We were able to get a whole rack of bolts ranging from 7 16 3 8 all the way up to like half inch uh, that filled a whole rack for, for about $400 and they're all grade A. We don't do anything. We don't even, we don't even mock up unless it's a grade A bolt. 
because we found that if I let the kids mock up something, like mount the seat with something that's not grade eight, I don't care how many times I tell them, we're going to show up to scrutinary and they're like, do we pass mechanical? No, we've got to change the bolts out because they used a grade five or something and it doesn't meet it. So we just use grade eight for everything, even if we're mocking up. Um, low voltage alarms. I'll tell you this, I didn't know that this one was here, and I don't know who, who gave this one, but Rig Runner, the kids don't know it, but I'm going to really, 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 really lobby the students to pick this. Um, they sell a fuse block that uses individual Anderson connectors, if you know what that is, uh, if you go and look at it, and it has a built-in battery alarm. You have to have that. You have to know when your battery is going to go below 12 volts or dead, because you don't want to lose your blinkers. If you're using backup cameras for your mirrors, you don't want those to go dead. You need to have a horn. Um, it's, it's, it's really important to know. Um, those look fantastic. Uh, BatteryStuff.com, they have low voltage alarms, and you can always go onto eBay. Um, composite materials, uh, express composites, I haven't looked at that, uh, but somebody had added that. And then shrink wrap, if you're going to add some kind of wrap and you want to do it economically, AmeriCover and Big Shrink allow you to order large rolls of this heat shrink to cover your car and then you can you can use a heat gun or you can use a propane torch we, we use a heat gun it gives us more control and you can shrink that down and get it really tight and that'll help you achieve some aerodynamics on your car um, and then steering motivational tube uh, motivational tubing has that the chassis shop and then uh, aliexpress i will say this i was i'm really surprised I, ebay and amazon you can get stuff but Walmart.com carries more than you think. We needed to buy, buy a bunch of uh, replacement blinker switches. Walmart.com had exactly the same thing that uh, O'Reilly's and everybody else had. Um, Walmart, I think, is trying to compete directly with Amazon. So if you're trying to find something, go look on Walmart. They probably have it. Okay. You can save shipping. Yeah, you can save shipping. If you, and you yeah, can, it'll ship to the store. That's yeah. right. They'll ship to the Where store for free. And sometimes give you 10% discount mm -hmm. for that. Yep. So, wonderful. so I, I just wanted to add that. Um, uh, you know, one of the things I would say about eBay, and then that's going to lead right into this next one, I don't, I don't see anything wrong with ordering from China. You just got to be prepared to do it early, okay? Because um, our, our car that, that you're going to see after lunch, the whole front end, we, we ordered that through AliExpress because it had the double A arms, it had the steering wheel, it had the rack and pinion. And we thought, you know, for, for $300, we're just going to take a shot on it. So we took a shot on it, but here's the thing that you have to be uh, careful of. It took three months for us to get it. Um, one, of the, one of the A-arms was missing, and then we never got it. Uh, we tried to contact them. We never got any communication back. And if there is a warranty, good luck getting it. I don't know how you do that. So what we ended up doing, we ordered it. Most of it was there. Finally, we weren't going to get the other parts, so I, we sent a kid to the machine shop, and he machined an identical upper A-arm. Um, if you have that ability, it's really good. Um, but if you're trying to stretch your budget, this this could be an option for you. Just just be aware, if you're going to order something from them, don't do it like two weeks before the race. It's probably not going to come in. Um, discounts. I will say this. Ask if, ask if they'd be willing to sponsor a part or partially sponsor parts. You'd be surprised how many companies say, well, what are you doing? And you explain it to them, have your website ready, because when they look at it, it's going to blow their mind. Um, one of the companies that I don't have up here, Rugged Radio, we contacted them. We were ordering all the, the NASCAR radio set with the headsets and all that stuff. And, uh, and they, they knocked 50% off when they found out what we were doing. Um, Ask, ask if they'll throw shipping in for free. Companies will do that. Wholesale Solar, they did that. That was huge. When you're ordering a bunch of panels and they weigh a lot, they're going to come in on freight, they threw the shipping in for free. I've got a motto, and I tell the students, make them tell you no. Okay, you can be polite, and they can tell you no. And you say, okay, no problem, we'll pay that. Or, oh, fantastic, thank you for, for including the shipping. Um, and then approved vendors. Build relationships with local businesses. One of the things that, that we did that has helped us save us, I think it saved us about $30,000 now. One of our locally owned uh, franchises, CarQuest, uh, Randy, his, 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 his company's Henley Auto, but it's a CarQuest uh, uh, vendor. 
He's one of our school approved vendors. So through the public school, if you have an approved vendor, then you have no problem going and using your purchase order and purchasing from there. Uh, one of the things that we ran into our very first year is we ordered these uh, multi-point power trackers from Australia, Race Max 600s. Well, they want to get paid before they even build it. Well, schools don't work that way. In a public school, uh, the school wants to receive the product in hand and then they'll pay you. So you run into that issue. Well, we reached out to Randy, and I didn't know him at the time, but our automotive teacher helped us out. We, we began to foster a relationship, and I, we finally said, hey, would you like to be a sponsor for our team? We're not asking for any money, but if you would be willing to purchase whatever we need from anywhere in the world, that would save us a tremendous amount of money. Another company in the area that was owned corporately said, hey, we'll do it, but we have to provide a 25% markup. And I'm thinking, man, we can't do that. That's just throwing money away. And uh, so Randy stepped up, and he's been doing that for the last five years. No, he's been doing that for the last seven years. And he has saved us so much money. And when we need to order something, I can just email it to him. And, you know, he wants us in his promotional stuff. So we've really built that relationship. See if you can find somebody that can help you. That will save you money. It will help you stretch the dollar, especially when you need to buy a used 2012 Honda motorcycle we're in, and your school's going, well, that's used. Why are you buying that? You don't have to ask them. You can just go buy it through him. It goes to his inventory, and you get it. Um, so that's that's what I felt like I could I could share today. If you have any questions, I'm open to that. Um, also, if you want to email me, uh, my email is pitsj at greenvilleisd.com. I'm happy to answer any questions anytime. If I don't get back to you right away, I'll email you or I'll call you and talk to you.